What's up, guys, and welcome to the Tim Sports Talk, and today we're going to hop into some Philadelphia Eagles talk. Now, here's an article that says, with Carson Wentz gone, will the Eagles hand the keys to Jalen Hurts, their second round pick from last year. He had some up and downs. He played a good game against the Saints, a couple games against, I believe, the Arizona Cardinals. So Jalen Hurts had some good games under his belt that made it seem like he had a potential future as the Philadelphia Eagles quarterback. Now, in his last game against Washington, he went 8 for 20 before he got pulled in the game. There was arguments that he shouldn't have been pulled. Obviously, definitely should not have been pulled for Nate Sudfeld. I mean, that was ridiculous. It wasn't like Nate Sudfeld. Oh, let's see if what we have in Nate Sudfeld. Yeah, right. Okay, that's ridiculous. But my thing is, is I believe the Philadelphia Eagles will take a quarterback in the first round of the 2021 NFL Draft to compete with Jalen Hurts, if not beat Hurts out. Why? First of all, they don't have a great cap situation, okay? They, their cap situation is garbage. They did help it out a little bit by getting rid of Carson Wentz, but their team's getting older. It's they, They're almost on a reset. But because of their cap situation, they want to get a rookie quarterback on a rookie deal that's top tier that it, they already have the sixth pick. There's four quarterbacks that could go that early, and if they get their hands on a Justin Fields or even a Trey Lance, and w amazingly, if somehow Zach Wilson falls to them, I doubt it. But either th one of those three come down to Philadelphia Eagles, they're going to pounce on this hard. Why? Jalen Hurts is only on a three-year deal now because he just had his rookie year, and he's not a first-round pick, so they will not have the fifth-year option that you have with the first-round pick. So if you go and get this first-round quarterback, you now have him under contract on a rookie deal for five seasons before you have to lock him up long-term. If Jalen Hurts is your future, then you're going to have to lock him up much, much sooner, and now all of a sudden you're in another quarterback hole where you're going to be paying a quarterback a ton, a ton of money, just like you were with Carson Wentz, especially with a guy that you don't know what the, really the future holds. Like As I said, he had some up and downs late last season, is Jalen Hurts really, really the future? Or is he kind of like his good games where nobody really had film on him? You didn't really know how to prepare for him. Um, I know Saints have a top-tier defense, but he ran all over them. He didn't really beat them with his arm, but he ran everywhere. And I don't mind Jalen Hurts. I never really liked him coming out of the draft as far as I didn't think he would be a great quarterback in the league. So I believe Nick Sirianni, the new head coach, is going to want his new quarterback, and it will come at pick number six, if not even trade up to get over Atlanta. If a Zach Wilson is sitting there at number three and Miami Dolphins are on the clock, look out for the Philadelphia Eagles to try to trade up to get that number three spot so they have their quarterback locked up for the next five years, and Zach Wilson could be that dude. And also Justin Fields, to be honest, like it, it's going to be wild. It's really going to depend on what the Jets do with their number two overall pick. Do they stick with Sam Darnold? Do they trade Sam Darnold and draft a quarterback? That is where the dominoes that that's going to be the first one. And we have two paths to go. Right. And wh whichever one they d decide to knock over, it's going to f make a lot of things happen right afterwards. But I believe the Philadelphia Eagles will draft a quarterback with their number six overall pick let me know what you guys think down in the comments please hit that like button hit the subscribe button also if there is a discord link in the description you can hop in our discord talk some football with us talk some basketball just hang out and talk sports also there are donation links if you feel so kind you could donate to the channel but yeah you guys let me know what you guys think in the i believe they're going to draft a first round quarterback nick sirianni is going to want his quarterback they're going to want one on a five-year deal instead of only a three-year deal and they only have Jalen Hurts really on contract right now anyway. They're going to have to do something in the offseason, but they don't have any money to spend even on a backup quarterback. Are they really going to go into the year with freaking Jalen Hurts and Nate Sudfeld? I don't think so, but you guys let me know. And until next time, see ya!